Hi everyone, this is going to be a video review for the Bicycle Plume and Deck of Playing Cards. You can find this deck of cards at beinpokerworld.com by clicking the link in the description. This deck of cards was apparently created after Bicycle found some old forgotten printing plates and they decided to make this deck out of those. So let's look here at the box. The front says Bicycle Trusted Since 1885 and then it says Pluma at the bottom. There's a spade in the middle with the tattoo design with wings on the side of it. On one side it says air cushion finish made in the USA and the other side says made in the USA air cushion finish. The bottom has the normal barcode and copyright info and the back shows the back design. The top says pluma face, pluma back. And there's a black United States Playing Card Company seal or copyright information on the flap there. And then these smaller flaps also have a little design. It's a face. So there's a look at that face. And this is the back design of the cards. Now apparently on the old printing plates that they had, the design had a peacock design with a tribal tattoo design and they were kind of mixed together. And so then they updated that design and they made this. That is now the Pluma deck. And if you didn't know, Pluma at least in Spanish and I think a couple other languages means feather and so that's fitting because of all the feathers on here. The deck has a couple of ad cards like most bicycle decks and there's also two standard jokers. One is the full size joker and then the other one is the guarantee joker. Now because as you'll see the faces of the rest of the cards are all custom I would have liked to have seen custom jokers as well because they're the only things that are just standard and then the rest of the deck is fully custom. So I think they could have uh, made these custom to make it fit with the entire deck. The Ace of Spades has that tattoo look to it in the middle and it says Bicycle, the United States Playing Card Company. And there are custom pips similar to what was seen back in the late 1800s and early 1900s and we'll see that more in the rest of the deck. The court cards have custom coloring with the blue and the brown and here's a look at some of the number cards. So like I said, the pips are vintage. They look more narrow and rounded than the standard pips that we see. And also the red ink that they use for the hearts and the diamonds is a lot darker than what Bicycle uses in their standard decks. Alright, so now I want to talk about the handling of the deck. Like most decks that are released directly from the United States Playing Card Company, this deck is equipped with an air cushion finish and a standard bicycle stock. And so what that says about the handling right away is that although it's not the best quality out there, it is something that is reliable and that will hold up well. This particular deck has a pretty good handling ability. Here's a look at a bristle shovel. That's very nice and smooth. So are the spreads. And there's a spring. And the cuts aren't overly slippery and they feel pretty secure. And the overall fanning is smooth and not extremely clumpy. And finally, let's look at a giant fan. So there is a lot of design going on here with the giant fan. I think it looks pretty cool. I think the deck can be used for magic. Even cardistry. And of course, you can use it for the everyday card game. And that's about it for this deck of cards. I personally really like the design, both the back design and the vintage style faces. If you are interested in this deck of cards, you can find it at beinpokerworld.com by clicking the link in the description. Thank you for watching.